Libra, oh Libra. What's up, Libra gang? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys deep in your thoughts, feeling as if you can't express yourself because expressing yourself will possibly um, actually make you have to deal with some type of like childhood wounds or there is some type of expression that needs to happen around the childhood wounds? Hmm. 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 Hey, boo, hey. This first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. Okay, so if cussing does not work for you, feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? To the new uh, to the new family, uh, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here, okay? Um, to return to family, what's popping, gang? What the hell is going on? You guys are in this very, very, y'all moon was bullshitting, okay? That Libra, that Libra and full moon, that last one was pretty intense, I'd say. Um, it, and it came in, it, it came in the midst of lucky transit with Jupiter. And I have a Pisces moon, so Jupiter and me, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. All right, so I will say, you guys, um, you guys are very, I felt a very, very, very calm and peaceful energy from you all, even though I definitely felt the energy of like thinking so much that y'all damn heads have to just fucking pop like the damn airhead commercial when the thing used to blow up and boo, 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 and poo, and just candy and shit was everywhere. Just, you know, because if Libra, if y'all head pop, it would just be sweet shit. Y'all think mean shit very rarely, but it's usually in from a, from a space of defense, okay? Um, or when you guys feel wrong. Okay, so I will say, uh, you guys, this is not going to resonate with everybody. It's general. Okay, if you need the personal, that information can be found within the description, you guys. Uh, please comment, uh, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you. And if the video resonates, let me know. Okay, um, you guys, this will be from now to the end of April. This could have already been transpiring in your life um, from mid-April, but this is going to carry us on out into May. Bam. All right. Someone rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. Let's get into it. I'm here for it. All right. So we're going to start with your intuitive messages for um, this mid month. Last part. Toy to the party ass April. Okay. The messages that you guys got intuitively was confidence, choosing self, psychic, heightened awareness, heightened intuition. Missing pieces, walking away, divine elevation. Okay, that means say essential elevation, honey. Oracle, releasing, fortune, divine feminine, selfish, karmic partner, past life, clarity, manipulator, dreams, life purpose. Mediumship mask. Okay, so that's what I got for my Libras. If any of the intuitive messages did resonate with you, you guys definitely let's talk about it. All right, your angel message for the month comes from Archangel Metatron. This is my boy here. He actually one of my team, one of my team members. He one of my that's one of my soldiers. Um, but my your message from Archangel Metatron comes prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Okay. So for some of you all, there is some type of, um, I'm hearing that there is, I heard crown chakra. So for some of you all, there is some type of activation or some type of intense uh, intense. I feel like you guys are going to be receiving massive ass information during this time for your crown from your through your crown chakra. So some of you all could be going through like migraines or having some type of like pressure headaches. For some of you all, there's a need for you just to stand uh, firmly firmly flat footed in the grass or in some type of soil or root yourself up root yourself up against a tree uh, to center yourself. Okay. During this time, Libra, again you guys are gonna be having very much so heightened awareness. Some of you guys could be um some of y'all actually may be encountering like having owl encounters or seeing an owl during this time. I definitely feel like some of you guys are connected to, like, every, anytime there's, like, a crescent moon or right after a full moon when the moon goes into, like, the crescent, the little damn 
for sun look and moon you guys there's like an abundance of overflowing of information so i definitely feel like the next crescent moon um coming into uh, the end of april you guys are going to be receiving some type of a massive download it may come in the form of a dream for some of you all there is a sense of like i already knew that shit but there's some type of like divine clarity it's not coming from i don't feel an earthly sense okay for some of you all there could be synchronicities leading up to some particular um a, a leading you into the path of some type of um direction having to do with your life path for some of you all you are intuitives you are mediums from some of you all have a path i mean of i, I say path a path of being oracles okay or going into some form of mediumship for some of you all i'm here medicine woman so some of you guys could also be very very um some of you guys could be very abundant when it comes to sorcery when it comes to a sense of magic some of you guys could also assist in um diseases with people i feel like if you actually channel your energy in a positive way i definitely feel like and i feel like that's for some people not all because for some of you all there's this fight between the light and the darkness like some of you guys are going through a very massive ascension in the form of a transformation like there's this sense of you guys having this all knowing some of y'all could be finishing people's statements during this time some of you guys could be having hella deja vu moments where you find yourself having conversations like i've been talking to you i've had this conversation with you before like there's this sense of leave you guys literally being 10 steps ahead of the game with your psychic abilities. Some of you all, there's a pouring. I'm hearing pouring. There's a pouring of information that is going to be occurring with you, especially having to do with your thoughts. Some of you guys could, there's a need for you during this time to balance your thoughts. Some of you guys really need to get out in nature more as far as centering your thoughts. And some of you guys could also be, some of y'all could also be like, looking into like like him like doing some type of like spell work or something to that extent some of you guys could also be trying to manifest and i feel like with the spell work i don't feel like it's a negative energy i feel like it's an energy of like um like like gaining some type of understanding or some type of like alchemical like a, i feel like an alchemical code or like combustion of how to like put elements together like for some of you all, it has to do like earth, maybe earth, water, air, or um, earth, air, fire, something to that extent. Some of you guys could be dreaming about geometrical symbols during this time, and it definitely is connected to some sort of past life. I feel like some of you all are going to be finding out that you have some type of like um, comedic or like doula ties. Some of you guys are, um, some of you guys are interested during this time of like reversal spells, like for people who could have encountered like some form of like dark magic or something to that extent. Some of you guys could be charging people or find, um, like find abundance in helping others or come up with like some type of like protection oil. Some of you guys are, uh, like cooking up oils or soaps. But I definitely feel the energy of entrepreneurship. Some of you guys are kind of not knowing which way to go about a particular situation during this time. And Spirit is saying, trust, trust the synchronicities. And I definitely feel like some of you guys, again, that goes with that pouring of information coming in the form of a dream. But some of you all, this could have to do with the soulmate relationship or some type of aligning of a soulmate relationship. For some of you, this person could be a water sign or a fire sign. Every little set of like things are... Finally able to come into alignment for some of you guys. You are dreaming of someone like obsessively because this person is also having the same energy around you. And for some of you all, this could be someone who you've known since childhood or someone who you have children with. Some of you guys could have also manifested this. Or for some of you guys, some of y'all actually talk to the stars like you connect with the, with the star guides for like esoteric information like you like three and four realms ahead of us on some shit libra some of you guys are freeing yourself from your traditional beliefs during this time that you actually like your values some of you guys could have grown up christian you just say you know what i don't i don't i don't want to believe in you know that i got to go to a church to be saved no more and you know if i am the church and you know you know some of you, yeah i'm not gonna go into that 
some of you guys could have some type of um some of y'all have some type of connection. There's some type of connection with like manifesting things, possibly with like pottery. Or for some of you all, this is about like the seeds that you have laid. Like you, you're waiting for, you're waiting to see the harvest with the seeds that you that you've laid. And there is some form of abundance. Some of y'all could be running from squirrels or attracting a lot of squirrels during this time. But, you know, again, that has to do with the earth, earthy animals centering. Some of you guys are fauna empaths. You have the ability to communicate with animals. You're finding that out during this time. Some of you may be gardening. And some of you all have, like, there's some type of information. Like, some of you guys could have, like, a sacred space where you receive some type of information, like, like near flowers, like daisies or... Um, lilies or things of that nature, like different flowers. Some of you guys could also be waiting for your waiting for some type of expansion or something to harvest, or or some type of growth around a relationship, possibly with an earthy individual, Capricorn towards Virgo. Or you waiting on things to come in some form of fruition. Some of you guys are um holding on to situations when. You kind of like your your path is elsewhere. For some of you, this has to do with children. Some of y'all have a life path around children. And for some of you all, there's this need to work on a relationship or work work on like some type of strengthening bonds around children during this time. Some of y'all could actually be literally obsessed with your children. And some of you all are holding on to situations that really make you feel afflicted. Okay, you see how this man is bleeding? Like, they really make you feel afflicted. But with the four, this could have to do with just ability, like holding on to something that hurts you around stability. Some of you guys are very poker-faced about it. You're showing great strength during this time. But some of you all could have had some type of, like, or you guys could be holding on to a situation having to do with your own perception around, again, childhood beliefs, um, as well as for re regarding children and family structure and how things should go. But for some of you all, your truth is you want to work on yourself or possibly work on some type of twin flame relationship with some type of intense relationship. Some of you guys could also be dealing with some type of, some of y'all are dealing with someone who has, like, it's like they're controlling, but they don't control you in um they don't control you in a abusive like a physically abusive way. It's more mentally I'm hearing like demasculating or like some type of like it's a it's 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 more men how can I put it? It's like someone programs someone's mind to think that they can't live or do or be without that person or they're like as if you're not going to find anything better or you don't deserve anything better and some of you guys are working on repro the reprogramming of your subconscious some of you guys may be listening to a lot of affirmation music during this time some of you guys are energy healers some of you guys could also be cooking up some form of like um so, some new wave as far as like um reiki or some form of like shamanic healing like it has to do with frequency waves some of you guys could also be discovering something having to do tied like to your past life where you weren't successful in some type of like wave healing that you want that you're wanting to unleash and share with the world. But there's some type of fear around childhood, like they're not being confident or you're not feeling as if you have enough or you are enough, and there's a sense of releasing. Things are actually aligning lining up for you for you to be abundant for you, but your thoughts are you have to really watch those wavering thoughts during this time and don't perceive things as negative before you give the positive the energy to really flourish and show you what you're capable of. You get me? All right, so let's rock. That was a spirit message for my Libras. All right. Let's see what's going on in love for my Libra. Oh, Libra. Libra gang. It was my rising. Let's see, we got some good shit now. I got big high ass degree of Libra in my chalk. <laughs> you know what my rising sign usually resonates with me a lot. All right. hey, what messages do you have, my beautiful Libra? Someone rising Venus as well as the cross watchers from now to the end of April in love. What can they expect? And matters of the heart. 
love. Okay, so some of you guys could be experiencing some type of change, okay? And I definitely feel like this is some type of, like, low defeat. Again, like, for some of you all, this could have to do with um, some type of cutting away or someone was cut away or someone is needing to cut something away or, like, some type of sacrificing, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do uh, with this emperor here. This could have to do with an Aries person or a Taurus. I definitely feel like... The, uh, it's, it's a sense of like a shallow victory. Some of you all, this could have to do with the father figure, like the father of your children. For some of you all, there was a need for someone to make a decision or there's a need for someone to make a decision, possibly between two people, okay? But I definitely feel like during this time, someone will be getting cut away or removed. Yeah. For some of you all, this has to do with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe this person had to choose between um, a fire sign. And, uh, maybe uh, Libra, you have to choose between a fire sign um, and a water sign, or someone needs to make a decision, or, or needs to make a, needed to make a balanced decision, or needs to make a balanced decision when it comes to matters of the heart. But I definitely feel someone having two options. Yeah. For some of you all, this could be some type of communication coming um, around love matters and some type of like information, some type of like new wisdom that's coming. Or some of y'all, this could actually be an argument or some type of like confrontation that's going to um, result in someone releasing themselves. Someone is just like, no, I don't want to be a part of it. But there is some form of transformation that comes. So in order for things to transform and move forward and for there not to be any blockages, okay, or someone um, someone releasing themselves from a situation was only a catalyst, a catalyst to someone else's awakening or someone else's transformation. For someone, oh, okay, for some of you all, um, this had to occur in order to be some type of transformation when it comes to new love or the, some type of divine partnership. Or there is some type of yeah, possibly with an earth sign or something that was moving extremely slow. I definitely feel like either you or another person feels as if like you kind of feel you don't really know which way to go in a situation or you feel as if you feel a bit indecisive or a bit uncomfortable about a decision. Oh, there's some type of balance coming to, um, like some type of information to help someone, assist someone in finding some type of balance, okay? Or some of you guys, there could be some type of, some type of, like someone could be balancing out something with someone else behind your back. You could be finding that out during this time. Yeah. This could have to do with someone's work. Like someone could also be indecisive upon if they want to put in work with another person. This could also have to do with the job. Like some of you guys could also be indecisive upon if I want to continue, you know, working at it. You could have just started a job maybe three months ago, three weeks ago. For some of you all, you could literally be indecisive about um, some type of opportunity financially or moving forward financially with someone because they're indecisive when it comes to matters of the heart. I definitely feel like you guys are keeping a poker face, though. Like, you're not saying much. Yeah. For someone, for some of you all, you're indecisive upon if I want to grow a situation and expand this or if I just want to move completely away from it. For some of you all, there could be, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is indecisive possibly about moving away from a fire sign. Or this fire sign is indecisive about moving away from you because they, they see the situation as toxic. But I definitely feel a moving away. Like someone's feeling as if they're they're receiving bare minimal to hold on to a toxic situation where they don't see their own damn growth in it. And ultimately, it's because there's like some type of divine intervention here because it's like there's some you're on the brink of a new beginning. But it's gonna come as a result of pretty much at the expense of something else. So in order to have this new beginning, something or someone is going to feel left out, betrayed, or 
Um, and the fact that I'm seeing like the swords here, if you're dealing with an air sign, I definitely feel like someone was indecisive about making a decision because someone has to be cut out and the cycle has to be completed in order for something new to begin and you able you be able to move forward, especially when it comes to a growth in finances, because for some of you all, you were holding on to a karmic partner. Like I told Aquarius, if you want to know if you're dealing with a karmic partner, look to your money. If before you start dealing with a person, okay, and your money was flourishing, and then you deal with this person, and all of a sudden shit just start, just start, just just woo. Chances are you dealing with a karmic partner, baby. You only you're not supposed to be there forever. There was a lesson that's going to get you one step closer to your blessing. And for some of you all, this has to do with a blessing in love when it comes to dealing with a possibly a fire sign, every deal Sagittarius, or some type of extension in love. Okay. From possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you and this person could have been on each other's mind. Some of you guys could also be cutting someone out to move forward, possibly with the mother or father of your children. For some of y'all, this have to do with an Aquarian. Some of y'all got a new, a, a new, just like there's some type of information coming in that is aligning things for both of you all to actually have like this faded meeting, possibly after like some some clarity or some knowledge about a third party situation. I also feel like there could be uh some some of you guys could be finding out that someone is like communicating with someone at work or connecting with someone when they're supposed to be at work or something to that extent. Or like there's also whoa. Yeah. For some of y'all this could involve a Leo. Some of you guys have a you're going into a new partnership, a new soulmate dynamic with the Leo or a new soulmate. But some of you guys want to hold on to a karmic partner and spirit is saying for some of you all, you're moving towards your desires. The thing that you're trying to manifest is harvest time, but there is something that's going to have to be sacrificed. Something has to be cut the hell out, something or someone, before something can flourish and grow. If you're already in a, in a relationship, I definitely feel like if you're single or you've kind of been on and off with someone, you're needing to make a decision on if you want to continuously go on you want to continue the, the old damn pattern and the cycle of the, you know, the miscommunications and the half assness or do I want something completely new and just move out on faith? Because there's this fear or there's this lack around not having enough, not being enough or, 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 or feeling less than or feeling as if there's a, like, there, there's a lack, a fear of loss, feeling as if there was, uh, someone like there was it's, it's, it's a fear of like someone feeling defeated or not wanting to be defeated so i definitely feel like during this time someone you or another person i feel like this is you libra may just understand that sometimes to truly win is to fully surrender you know and sometimes it's uncomfortable but you truly have to allow god to do God's job because it's not your part, but I do see someone or something having to be cut out. In order for something new to begin. Okay. So you guys let me know how that resonates. Um if it does, you guys definitely comment. Um if you need a personal, hit me up. I am available to do your personals until the month of May, you guys. Peace and love. Many blessings you guys. Peace and namaste. Love y'all.